Welcome back to MediClass. Interdental cleaning aids. Interdental aids are effective plaque control measures as they can reduce dental plaque from the interdental areas and prevent gingivitis. Periodontal disease and dental caries are more prevalent in the interproximal area. Hence additional use of interdental hygiene devices should be highly recommended. Plaque is a soft tenacious material found on the tooth surfaces and is not readily removed by rinsing with water. So the best approach for prevention and treatment of gingivitis is mechanical plaque control followed by removal of interdental plaque. So what is the need for interdental cleaning? Tooth brushing can thoroughly clean the flat surfaces of the teeth. However, proximal and interdental areas remain untouched. These are sheltered area that is difficult to access and leaves residual plaque that can lead to development of caries and periodontal lesions. Gingival embrasure is area apical to the contact point and is generally filled by interdental gingiva in health. Depending on the type of embrasure space, a specific interdental aid is used. Gingival embrasures can be of three types. Type 1 is embrasure filled with papilla and no gingival recession. Type 2 is slight to moderate recession of the papilla and type 3 involves complete loss of interdental papilla. A dental floss is used for type 1, interdental brush for type 2, and unit of brush for type 3. Let's see the different interdental aids. Floss, interdental brush, wooden tips, rubber tip stimulator, unit of brush. Floss is a simple tool used to clean where the brush cannot reach. It is recommended for cleaning in between teeth that have healthy gums and completely filled with gingival embrasures with interdental papilla. It is effective in preventing and development of gingival inflammation and reduces the level of plaque. There are different types of floss. It can either be a regular floss or a one with holder. Other types include nylon fibers or plastic monofilaments. It could be waxed or unwaxed and it could be flavored or unflavored. Patients should floss with whatever type they like but the important thing is that they adopt the flossing habit. So let's see the technique of flossing. Normally 12 to 18 inch of floss is used to clean the teeth. It should clean entire proximal surface, contact the proximal line angles and reach accessible subgingival areas. It is generally wrapped around the fingers for use. So the technique involves stretching the floss tightly. It is gently passed through the contact area. A firm back and forth motion is given. Avoid snapping to prevent injury to the interdental gingiva. Flossing is done apical to the contact area. Wrap the floss around the proximal surface. Slip it under the marginal gingiva. Up and down stroke two to three times are given. And the procedure is repeated on proximal surface of the adjacent tooth. Wood sticks. It allows mechanical removal of plaque from the interdental surfaces. It has a triangular shape with smooth edge. It is made up of soft wood and adapts to the interdental space preventing injury to the gingiva. Its function is that the friction of the sides rubbing against the interproximal tooth surfaces removes the bacterial biofilm and it is used on concave surfaces of tooth root. Technique involves placement of the wood stick. The base of the triangle rests on the gingival side. The tip should point occlusally or incisally and the triangles rest against the adjacent tooth surfaces. It is indicated in adults with open interdental spaces. Coming to interdental brush. Tooth brushing cannot remove interdental plaque biofilms. So interdental brushes are used. The design involves use of soft nylon filaments twisted into fine stainless steel wire. It is manufactured in different sizes and forms. It could either have a cylindrical shape or a conical shape. It ranges from 0.4 to 0.22 mm in diameter to accommodate variation in spaces. The brush has a handle and angulation. I-shaped or L-shaped brushes are present. I-shaped brushes are used for anterior area, while L-shaped are used for the posterior areas. The brush should fit tightly in the interproximal space. 
it should not be necessary to apply force to use it. So the technique of use of interdental brush, it should be inserted gently between the teeth to avoid injury. It should be inserted first from the buckle or the labial area. Back and forth movements in short stroke is given. Slight larger diameter of brush exerts pressure on both interproximal surfaces and cleans the concavities. And the brush is rinsed before fresh interdental area is cleaned. Other applications of interdental brush is around maintenance of orthodontic bracket, cleaning furcation areas, and cleaning around prosthesis. Single tough or unit of brush. It is easy to access the furcation areas, isolated areas of recession, and lingual surface of mandible molars and premolars using the single tough brush. Rubber tips. It allows for mechanical removal of plaque from the interdental spaces. It has a conical shape and is mounted on handles with curved shank. It adapts to all proximal surfaces in the mouth. Technique involves placing the tip into embrasure space. Tip should rest on the gingiva and the tip is used in a circular motion. It helps in demonstrating to the patient the location of the plaque biofilm. So to summarize, additional use of interdental cleaning aids should be highly recommended along with tooth brushing. The best approach for prevention of treatment of gingivitis is use of interdental aids. Depending on the type of embrasure space, a specific interdental aid is used. There are different types of interdental aids like floss, interdental brush, wooden tips, rubber tip stimulators, single tough brushes. Interproximal cleaning should be an inseparable part of the daily plaque removal routine. You can find the link to MCQs for this topic in the description of the video. Thank you for watching the video. We hope you liked it. And if you did, please subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell for update on new videos.